Deathstalker reveals why he integrates music and comedy in his routine. Stand-up comedian Ogenekoyan Onaibi Desmond, professionally known as Deathstalker, in an interview with Heap TV, shared insights into his decision to integrate music and comedy in his stage performances. The comedian posits that a performance lacking in variety might become monotonous for the audience. While confident in his ability to sustain a humorous routine for extended periods, highlighted the potential boredom and fatigue could set in without a dynamic According to him, the right combination of people and comedy provides a refreshing break for the audience, prevents monotony and ensures that even when tired of laughing, the infusion of music provides a rejuvenating element to the overall experience. Oh God, but you don't say, no, Mr. Martino, especially you, they pray for breakthrough. You can't ask that was Sunday. Are you getting to interview on Monday? No, now. Sir. I shall go first. You wake up. Go bath. Use towel. I shall go. They use towel anyhow because they're not saying that once they won't use them. Go hold towel. Then go over. Go hang on. You go wake up to nine. Go bath. The same towel. And men are we all one place that they put away. You declare your glory. You go interview, the interview go to the secret tourist. I oh shit, that's a big pump. You want to thank you. In his words, no matter how funny you are, when people keep listening to you for hours, they'll get tired. So, so when you put in music, you put in comedy. So when you're tired of comedy, music wakes you up. In his words. The, this country is open for everybody. There's an opportunity for everybody in this country. The only thing you just have to discover, just try to be different. If you are different, the country will give you space. So I create is I created a different form of comedy. Right? Why I use music, it's not compulsory. I have done several shows. I, there was no, they were DJ, but not that I was working with a DJ. There are even some shows that I spoke for three hours without one minute music interruption. And all the shows were all successful and they were all killing it. So I, I, I entered the industry differently. Why I put music, no matter how funny that you are, when people keep listening to you for hours, they'll get tired. So when you put in music, put in comedy, put in music, so when you are tired of comedy, music wake you up, another comedy come, music wake you up, I can keep you for two years, you will not get bored. Creating jokes is no easy task. Death talker, the stand-up comedian for the shed light and why some comedians recycle jokes. According to him, the process of creating all scripting jokes possess a formidable challenge for comedians, regardless of their experience level. However, he underscored the importance of spontaneity in distinguishing between natural born and trained comedians. Some, he explained, have the ability to repeat jokes while injecting a fresh twist, showcasing their natural comedic flair, while others resort to a more straightforward copy and paste approach. Emphasizing the difficulty of generating consistently funny material, he argued against criticizing comedians who recycle jokes in view of the artist's task of crafting humorous scripts. First of all, creating joke is not easy. But you need to have this spontaneity spirit. As for me, I, on this interview, I will talk only to everything about me, about me, about me. As for me, I will repeat one joke 10 times. You will laugh harder, differently for the 10 times. Because I will not say the first, I will not say the way you hear it the first time. I must give birth to new things inside one story. So, but other people who copy and paste, they will just say the way you say it. The one thing I hate most in my life is when I'm cracking joke and I hear a, a I hear from the audience saying the next word I want to say. Automatically, it will give birth to a new a new jokes on the spot. You will, only you will not say ah, I didn't say another joke, not this joke. Do you understand? So your ability to recreate, create. Is what make you a born comedian. Like I said, some are born, some are trained. So those that are born, 
can stay, can go for two hours, three hours. Like what I always say, that comedian when not get you, and go say, thank you very much, that's my time. Nobody pursue you, perform. Do you get it now? So the truth is, when you are born, you make jokes out of everything. I can go to a show, from my house to the venue, I can explain everything that happened from my house to the venue for 20 minutes that I have to perform. I will not be bored, and you will know it's real. That is why I do reality comedy. Thank <laughs> you.